Right, so first things first, let's make a new project. Call this uh, Renaissance. Didn't ever spell this correct correctly. Uh, I think that's right. Uh, Renaissance crowds and week one. And I'm going to leave this in my my D drive. Okay. Accept that, and then I'm going to save the um, the project. So let's call this just I don't know week one version one. Accept. Great. Okay. I'm just going to sort out the desktop how I like it, and we can jump right in. So. Uh, we're going to start by looking at uh, some of the shelf tools, okay, really basic um, crowd stuff to start off. So if you come up, come up here to characters, you've got a few of these mocap, uh, motion capture bipeds, um, and you've got a couple of characters that you can use for animating. But I'm going to take a look at this mocap biped 3. Okay, and it's a good way just to... Um, to practice with crowds, you can use these um, as they just work well in Houdini. You know, obviously the the rig and everything is set up to to work well with the whole crowd system. So um, if I press P on my on this uh, Geo node, I I get the options here, and let's take a look at what we have. So we got the basic, you know, translate and rotate and scale, but then here the more inter interesting stuff. We got the animation. So we've got a, a whole bunch of different motion capture stuff. So if I go to walks and turns, here we got some walks. Okay, and they're all looped. Oops, if I turn on the uh, real time. That one's got a bit of a tick to it. It's a kind of uh, not the best. Let's see what else. So if you go to walks and turns, then here you've got a load of different walks. Um, I don't know what's this walk startle right so you get scared carries on and it loops over again okay and let's just put the default walk you've got a lot of different stuff here materials you know you can change the textures not so important though for us so I'm gonna leave this on the on the walk and I'm going to right click and allow editing of the content just so we can take a look at the at the rig. So I'm going to jump inside. So here we've got the rig. Okay, and you can see it's kind of organized. Um, so it kind of makes sense. So we've got the left leg there. Got five bones. If we, we can visualize them as well. Okay, so you can see how the uh, how the structure is put together. Got the right leg there, and then the spine is kind of in a, a bit weird. This bit's kind of folded over, and then we've got the hips and the spine there. Okay, the hips are the, at the at the root. We got the neck bones and a head, all the way to the head, and then the two arms. Okay, you know so. If you needed to, you could come in if you have if you wanted to make some, some slight adjustment to an animation, you can come in here and just drop a null and and make some changes, right? So I can oh, I do, if I drop a oh, tab null and then you know I can actually make some changes there. Obviously, it doesn't make much sense doing that, but. Just so you know, you, you do have access to the rig and you can make changes if you want to, if you're an animator and you know what you're doing. <laughs> um, you can also jump into the um, the geometry here. Um, before the deformation, we can make changes to the actual geometry if you wanted to. You could do like a poly reduce, maybe. Um, if. If you have a very dense geometry, right? So I can bring the amount of polygons down and it should still work fine, right? 
So um, I'm just going to go ahead and hide the rig. I don't want to see that. Cool. So let's take a look at um, the agent, what the agent is. Okay. Next thing, first thing I'm going to do actually, uh, wait, make sure that I leave the, high, the visualizer in the right place actually. Go back. I'm going to turn off this in place animation. Okay, I want the this this kind of uh, information. Okay, this deformation, this translation information. Sorry. So I'm going to select this, come up to the crowd, go find the crowd tools, click on agent. Okay, and it gives me two options. I can select an FBX that I have on file or use a character rig that I've already got in my scene. So I'm going to do that. Agent name, you can name it whatever you want. So I'm going to leave it um, as it is. And then the clip name will be the animation, right? So the clips. So we got a walk, so I'll just call it walk. Click OK. And this gave us another node with a chain, oops, not that one, a, another SOP network with a chain of nodes. Okay, so right at the beginning, we've got this create agent. And if you notice, we've lost our textures. So that's because we, we, we now have a packed geometry, right? So if you've worked uh, really with um, rigid body simulations, you we use some um, packed geometry a lot. And agent is another form of a packed of packed geometry, right? So you can see here, we've only got the one point now. Um, got one packed agent, primitive, right? So this obviously helps us um, save a lot of disk space and uh, makes simulating much quicker and um, and setting up your, your initial states as well. Okay, so in here, we've got the agent name. You can change that now if you like, it's up to you. The input is the character rig, so that's pointing at, at this. Again, you can you can choose an FBX, or if you have it already saved out onto disk. Um, other things which are important, everything else you can just leave. Clip name. This is rest, but we want that as walk, as we've got a walk. So this this locomotion thing is is important. So if we watch it now, uh, the also the the clip tra the time here we've got one frame which is obviously no good. So if you come back here, it's quite handy. It tells you twenty six frames of uh, animation we've got. Okay, so we need to put that in here. If we delete these channels, put this to twenty six, and watch that, and we'll see we've got this person walking. Now if I visualize the point. You can see the point is at zero there, while the agent is being is walking away from it. Okay, and that's no good. When we come to simulate, the crowd simulation at its core is is a pop simulation. is is working on the points. Okay, so we want to be transforming, moving these points around. So, you know, having an agent walk away from their you know this constitutes what the agent is at the at the origin is no good so what we do you know typically basically i always do this uh, um i always want to be using locomotion right so we convert to in place animation we've got an error there and the error is because we need a locomotion node okay which we drop in here so this will link us to the rig okay so we're going to jump into the the rig of the the um, whichever character we've dropped in here, okay, and then typically you're going to be using the hips, okay. So look for the the hips and drop that in. So we use the hips because it kind of represents the general translation of the body best. If you use the hand, you know the hand swings back and forward, the legs do the same, the head might, but the hips generally give a general um, sense of the movement. Okay, so there you can see it's not moving. Now if I come up and go to check this apply clip mo locomotion, you can see our point is moving with our character now. 
and also it continues on the loop as well. See that? It's not the best loop, we've got a kind of a, a bit of a click there, but that's okay. Great, okay. So that's basically all you need. You know, you can take this and that's ready for simulating now. All of this is just extra stuff, right? But uh, we'll go through them anyway. So in load clips, so this is where we can add more animation. So we could do that. So if we take this, we got this walk. So if I alt click and drag, I'll change the name of this to walk. And let's just grab a run as well. And let's take a, we'll go into the run. Oops, let's hide this and this. Grab the run. Let's see. Yeah, why not? Run and hop over. Okay, and then we'll jump back into here. And then in load clips, we can add more animation to the same agent. Okay, so all of this is working on one agent. And we can have multiple different agents going in, in parallel, which we will do later on, but not now. So we got the one walk, which we've already got. You know, we loaded it in, in here. Um, so we don't need to, I'll get rid of that actually. And because we've already got it, we don't need to add it again. And I'm going to find the run, grab that. Okay. And the same again, I want to convert this to in place animation. And I get the same error again, because we need to connect the, the locomotion node here, the, the hips. Okay. And I'm going to call this run. And then we can watch it up here. This is just for preview. Let's go to hide other other agents. And there we go. That is slipping still. So what we need to do is go to apply clip locomotion. Uh, you can see it's kind of sliding forward. So that's because I've got locomotion on twice. So it's kind of doubling. So if I turn it off there, hopefully that should. Yeah, you can see the feet are staying planted to the floor correctly yeah perfect okay so you can add as many as you want there again we need to change this time I think it won't loop now yeah, you see it just stops so we need to grab that time which is 37 frames for that one so jump in there into our clips delete this and drop that to 37 Reload, and there we go. 